and we'll have our own New Year's Eve party. With ice cream and punch? And funny hats and horns that we'll toot to the sky. So are you sure you'll still be awake then? Well, if I'm not, I won't finish my article. And I won't get paid. I needed more time. It's run out, Bigelow. They just want you dead. No, they don't understand. I've got a deal next week will get me some money. I'll give it back to them. It's too late. <laughs> Nobody gets in Frank Bigelow's way. Nobody. of sound memory and discretion unlawfully killeth any reasonable creature in being and under the king's peace with malice of forethought, either express or implied. Murder. Now, that's a word that Mr. Frank Bigelow has not shrunk from in the past, far from it. And uh, as for the fact that it might be unlawful, well, there's only one law that holds true for Mr. Bigelow law of survival. Poor Aunt Carrie. In a few minutes, horns will toot and people will shout and celebrate the dawn of the new year. The only question is, how much of that new year is Mr. Bigelow going to let you live through? Murder another. And more unfortunately, he 
saw her. What now, Aunt Carrie, on this night of jubilation? Are you going to celebrate by being his next victim? Go back to your room and stay there with Rosie until I tell you to come out. about and nothing to sniffle about either but we were going to have a party and we still will but right now i have to lock the doors but why do you know the man who lives directly across the court mr bigelow yes and i'm afraid i just saw him hurt a man hurt a man very badly i'm also afraid that he saw me watching is he coming over here after us no, I doubt very much if he would be foolish enough to do that. Then why are you locking the doors? Because not to do so would be foolish on our part. <laughs> now, children, I want you to go to your room, lock the door, and stay there until I tell you to come out. But what if Mr. Bigelow comes? Then it will be me he wants to talk to. He didn't see you, children. And I don't want him to. Now, go on. Lieutenant Baker. Thank you. 
mistaken. Please, this is an emergency. I've just seen a murder. You get away from here. Here. I'm calling the police. emergency. I want the police.
mind. Run to the kitchen and get the broom. It's just a matter of time, lady. No, no. Go away! I'm gonna get you. Either you'll be out here or I'll be in there. It's just a matter of time. Eventually, he has to get in here. We're just going to have to be ready for him. Children, get me that tall chair from the living room. David, and jam it under the doorknob. That's good. Now, now, take it away, fast as you can. Well, that's right, put it there again. Take it away quicker this time. All right, put it back. As long as that chair is there, Mr. Bigelow can't come in the front door. That, that leaves him the kitchen door to come in by. Should I get another chair? No. Why? Because since Mr. Bigelow has to come in the house some way, I at least want to choose the door by which he does so. Now, David, when he comes in the kitchen, I'll slow him down long enough for you to take the chair away from that door, unlatch the chain, and the both of you to run down to Lieutenant Baker's and get us some help. But what about you? Well, I'll just try and keep him busy as long as I can. David, get me your marble collection. Yes, Aunt Carrie. Rosie, you come with me. Oh, Rosie, there's a bottle of cooking oil in that cabinet. Get it for me. Open it and pour it on the floor. Hurry, child. All of it? Yes. Get some near the door. And Carrie, I've got my marbles. Roll them on the floor where Rosie's spreading the oil. All right. Now we just have to wait. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, well, well, party, party just up there, buddy, to the left. <laughs> hey, come on. Door. I don't know if I can open this again. Hey, David, you must. For your sake and Rosie's and mine, you'll have plenty of time. The floor in there will slow him up. And of course, it will take him a little while to get through that door. amateur. Who else but an amateur would try to use a gun that's been sitting unused and uncleaned for six years in the salty ocean air and then be inept enough not to release the safety? Poor Frank, someone should have told him it was a rotten way to start a new year. So, um, until next week, this is Anthony Quayle saying good night and uh, uh, remember to pull your blinds down. You never know what someone might be planning for an evening's fun. Or might even be planning for you. Good night. Um, pleasant dreams. <laughs> <laughs>